So now we're going to get into the essence of what the football index is all about, and that is trading. When you come into the index, um, if I were to just show the highest price footballers, you'll see the likes of Neymar are eight pounds sixty four, Sancho eight twenty three, and and you're probably wondering, okay, these guys are world class footballers. That I'm guessing that that is why their value is so high, and you're not wrong at all. Um, Generally speaking, these players are fantastic at dividend rewards, dividend payouts. Um, and so logically, index traders get on board in order to uh, boost their dividends, maximize their profits. You can see that in the last 24 hours, they're all in the green. They're holding their value relatively well. So it's it's suggesting that um, they're, they're a good investment. However, there's a lot more to it than that. Firstly, it's worth noting how you buy and how you sell. So the buy price, 864, if you were to go on, obviously you don't have to log in, but you'd be able to um, see that you're buying £8.64 for one share and you could buy 300 shares at a, at a, at a time. That is the maximum amount. Uh, this is essentially a mechanism to prevent absolute mass flooding and try to control the market a little bit from the football index side of things. Similarly, if you were to sell players, you have the choice of either selling instantly, pressing this red button here and going instant sell, or you have the choice of going um, to market. And I'm going to talk a little bit more about both of those sales mechanisms in a second. 